And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good Tuesday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Sheldon Brashear is expecting some big changes in the forecast, but for the start of your morning, it should be pretty quiet out there, kind of business as usual. You'll see satellite and radar this morning, not seeing any rain showers, hardly even any cloud cover being seen out there as we start out the day. We're seeing 50s and 60s around the region here to start out your morning, so like I said, no real big surprises there. But as we go through our temperature map here, it's going to kind of tell you how different things are going to look today. We'll be in the 50s by about 8 a.m. Lunchtime temperatures start to get up into the 70s, and that would maybe give you the a hint that we're going to be warmer than normal today. Watch what happens going into just about an hour time frame. You're going to see right here we get up to about 75 degrees. Now it will be warmer off towards the south, but look up here in the northern parts of the area, low 70s and some 60s. And then as we go on into the afternoon and evening period, we drop down into the 50s by 9 o'clock tonight. So there is a cold front on the way that will be arriving today at some point. Right now, data suggests that we'll start to see those winds turn pretty quickly. We're seeing west southwesterly winds to start out this morning, but you will notice right here about noon, one o'clock, we start to see those winds turn out of the northeast. And once that happens, we've probably seen our daytime highs for the day. So of course, one o'clock, we're not at our hottest point for the day. Therefore, we're going to stay there in the mid 70s. But you'll see right here, not only do those winds turn out of the northeast, but they turn out of the northeast and pick up quite a bit. As we'll see 15 to 25 mile an hour winds gusting upwards of 30 plus miles an hour. So this is probably going to be one of the strongest cold fronts that we've seen this season so far. So some pretty stout winds as that cold front arrives. But like I said, basically once those winds turn out of the northeast, we know cooler weather is on the way. Winds stay in that 10 to 20 mile an hour range even as we go on into tonight. And that's our next weather maker, at least one part of it. We're going to see some big changes this week starting with today. Of course, we have this big cold front that is coming. And that's because the jet stream is basically being stretched down our direction now. Unfortunately, not setting up in a way that we're seeing rain chances in the forecast, but it is going to bring in cooler weather. It's going to bring in some nice chilly winds out of the northeast and the possibility of overnight freezes possible for parts of the region. You'll see up in the northeastern parts of the area. That is right. We do have a freeze warning where temperatures could get as low as 29 degrees. That is tonight. That's Tuesday night into your Wednesday morning. More specifically from the National Weather Service, they are seeing 1 a.m. Wednesday to 8 a.m. Wednesday. So if you want that exact time frame, so we're going to see frost, freezes possible. And at 29 degrees, that's borderline hard freeze territory. So of course, keeping an eye on those plants, those flowers outside might need to bring things in going into this evening. And of course, that's a freeze watch. You'll see they're up in our Kansas counties. But for us here in our News Channel 10 viewing area, that dark purple freeze warning. That means freeze not possible. That's freeze expected there. So let's look at our overnight lows for tonight. Here in Amarillo, I have us pretty close to that number at 34 degrees. It's going to be chilly tonight. You'll see places like Childress at 42, 33 in Perryton, 32 up in Liberal, 38 over in Tucumcari. Because here's the thing, those winds will start to calm. Sky should be clear tonight. And that's really all the ingredients we need to see a lot of that heat escape away from the surface. We've already got cooler air in place. Freezing temperatures are certainly not out of the question. That is for sure. But the second half of our next weather maker is, like I said, possibly some rain showers as we're going to be seeing this other low pressure system dip down our direction, detach from the jet stream. And basically, when it's sitting there spinning off towards our west, it could bring near daily rain chances to our forecast going into this weekend. There's a couple of question marks. We need moisture to come in from the southeast, and we need that low pressure system to set up in the right place. If it stays further off towards the west, less of the region will see rain chances. If it moves off towards the east, more of the area sees more rain. So that's what we're going to have to watch. Long term my, uh, model data here, you'll see things move in Friday afternoon. You'll see right there, Saturday going into Sunday possibly even through Monday before it finally starts to move out, maybe going into Tuesday. So like I said, could see several days worth of rain chances. Right now, models are generally favoring central to northeastern New Mexico there for the possibility of several inches of rain. But even us here in Amarillo, you'll see those totals get lighter the further southeast that you go. But still, hopefully right now, models are picking up on the possibility of maybe a little bit of measurable rain as we go on into the week, and that's the good news. Looking at your seven-day supercast, 76 for today. Like I said, dropping to 34 tonight. You'll see 65 for your Wednesday, 75 Thursday. Temperatures warm slightly, and then anywhere from 40 to 50 percent chances of rain showers. Maybe a thunderstorm or two going into the weekend as well, but you will notice really tonight's going to be our only really properly cold, cold night. So, of course, keep that in mind when making those plans.